Hi, Jerry from Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I have another money saving tip for you guys for those of you who own RVs. You have a propane fired forced air furnace in your RV and that quits working. Chances are the brush is wore out in the motor. So, this episode, we're going to remove the furnace, replace the motor, and reinstall it. So, let's start the adventure. You'll be working with gas, so you want to make sure you turn off your gas supply. My gas supply is uh, located right here, so we make sure both propane cylinders are turned off, and it uh, just cuts off the uh, gas supply. And we're going to go ahead and go to the next step at removing that furnace. The next step of removing the furnace is um, remove this plate that is the exhaust plate on the outside of your fifth wheel. Now I'm going to start by removing this metal screw right here with a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to store it right there for right now. And then we go inside and take the, uh, the furnace out and then we'll take it in and put it on my workbench. You want to take a wrench and you want to remove your gas supply just by turning that. And then this wire, you have to detach it. And this is where it clips in. There's a little tab on the side. You press that tab and pull that. See that little tab? And now the furnace is disconnected. Now we'll just go ahead and take this to the shop, put it on the bench and change that motor out. Okay, we're on the workbench. We're going to start tearing down this furnace and it's really easy. There's only two screws keeping the furnace inside of this box and they're on the bottom. And these screws are right here. You just remove these two. And now we have to take the furnace out of the box. Okay. We'll set the box on the floor. We won't do that anymore. And we'll put the furnace right here. And we'll be working on this side of the furnace. So first of all, you'll want to remove these two wires here. You just unclip them. And then you remove this holder. And get those wires out of the way because they're just going to be in your way. You have a red wire down here, you're going to unplug. This actually services the motor. You want to unplug that, take that out of the way. And this right here is the other wire that is servicing the motor, so you just want to unplug that carefully. Now the motor's disconnected. Now we begin the removal of all of these screws. Because we've got to take the shroud off to access the little um, cage fan inside. Uh, go ahead and remove both scr uh, screws on this bracket that holds the shroud on because this bracket is just going to get in your way when you're trying to maneuver this 
in and out of there. You got one more screw down here. And on the bottom right here, you got this little clip. You just got to pop that little clip off of there. Easier said than done. There we go. Just a little metal clip. Now this is ready to come off. And that's it to the shroud. Now we're going to preserve this. We're going to pull this off. This is the seal. And we're going to set that aside. Now this flywheel has a uh, Allen bolt right down inside there. It's uh, got a I have to have a long enough Allen bolt to be able to, or, or Allen wrench to be able to fit through those fins and uh, loosen that. Okay, now on this housing we've got some screws. We got one right here. It's right there. We're going to take that screw off. here. Now you're almost done, but you have to flip it on its side because you've got you got this screw and this screw and then you've got that one right there and there's one that already came out right there. We got to take those off. So let's get those off now. And this little piece right here slides out, but you have to pull this away. it right on out of there. Let's save these. Those are our seals. And then you have this. This is that exhaust pipe. We'll set that aside. Now we're done with the, uh, this is the furnace without the fan. So, and this is your uh, circuit. This thing will go bad eventually, so it's really easy to change out. Just unclip those wires. You got this this wire right here, and you got this uh, igniter wire, and these two wires. Just It's held in by two screws. Pull that out, take it down to the uh, RV repair place, or order it online, and snap it back in, and you're good to go. So, we're going to go ahead and change the motor out in this unit, but we got to get the motor off. So, we've got this screw right here. We have that screw right there and that screw right there. But before we can take those off, we have to remove this little Allen screw that's down in there. So let's remove that at this time. Since I don't have the right Allen wrench, I've got an Allen socket here. Okay, that fits, and then we have to <laughs> jerry rig this stock on it. I use a little tiny, uh, a little teeny tiny crescent wrench and we're just going to loosen that and pull the 
fan out. And that's the cage fan or squirrel fan. And remember which way you pulled it out because it has to go in that same way. Otherwise you'll be sucking air instead of blowing air. And I don't think you want to do that. So we'll put that back in my toolbox for now. And we're going to go ahead and uh, remove this. I have a special screwdriver that will do exactly something like this. Make note that this is exhaust comes out right next to your um, your air switch, limit switch. So we're going to pull that right on out of there. And there's your housing to your squirrel fan, your squirrel cage. We're going to set that aside. Now we have the motor, and you've got you've got this screw and that screw to uh, loosen so I'm going to get a bigger screwdriver okay we're just going to loosen them we're not going to take them completely off we're just going to loosen them okay now that they're loosened we're going to go ahead and Now make note where the wires on this motor come out of this. You want to make sure you have the wires come out in the same spot and the motor is positioned in the same spot. This is a double shaft motor so you want to make sure you have the right shaft on the right side. So be careful when you're taking them off. Okay, we go ahead and... This is the fan shroud. Okay, we're going to put that aside. Now we're down to the motor and we can go ahead and find the right one that goes to that one. I don't think I have an Allen wrench to fit that. Yes I do, this one. but it's not, not long enough to go back down in there. Okay, let's see if I tight, uh, loosened it enough to come off. There we go. Holy schmeal. Okay. Alright, this motor's out. So that's removing motor from the uh, furnace. I want to thank you for joining me on this section for repairing the RV forced air furnace and removing the blower motor. Uh, the next video, if you click right there, that video will take you to part two or the next segment on installing the motor and then reinstalling the forced air furnace. So. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Uh, I'd like to ask you to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you like my videos. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.